channel, my name is Anna, and today we're back with some Sims 4! Woo! Okay, first of all, my cold has gone down, but I do sound rather congested, even though it's not too bad, and I have some sort of cough. I'll try my best to edit it out throughout this entire video, even though I didn't really seem to have much sympathy for you guys when I made the other video with an actual, like, bothersome voice and bothersome cold symptoms. <laughs> anyway, just a disclaimer, um, I don't know why I just wanted to tell you what I'm about to do because I don't think you really care, but since, you know, you're asking me, you want to know, right? Now you want to know because I just said that I was going to do it. It will be a waste. I am about to have some almond butter and I am going to slice up half the banana that I have left from this morning and put the nut on the banana. That's what I'm going to do. I would like to do it now, but if I do that, um, I, th I think there's going to be like, um, I think there's going to be a lot of smacking, licking noises, and I don't think I want to do that, but I'm going to take a sip of my tea. Okay, I don't know why I expected that not to be hot, but <laughs> it was hot. All right, let's get on to the actual video. So for today, I have um, some sort of makeover. I don't usually record much makeovers because i'm more into just doing casts and letting it be letting the video speak for itself and then just talk about shit because i always talk about shit but i i've been really into the sims 4 lately i've really been into changing the world and changing the characters and kind of making um um sorry i just how did I get to, my boyfriend was texting me and I just got distracted. I, oh my god, I'm terrible. I don't think let me take another zip. I'm just I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay. I have been into making this world mine. I've been trying to get some houses. I suck at buildings, so I have to download them, of course. And I put some houses down and uh obviously I'm you know changing all the characters in the world. And these characters are in the world, and hopefully, by the time that I get the save out, they're either... Okay, there's two scenarios here. They're going to be elders or dead. That's not very positive, but that's probably what's going to happen, because by the time that I actually get the video done, I think they will be old. Either old or dead. Um... But well, there, there's not a problem with that. Like, I'm not saying there's a problem with that. I'm just saying that that's probably what's going to happen. And maybe you guys can then play with their children. Because it would be nice to have, like, a complete set of different characters. But then from the same heritage. Like, from the same um, family tree. You know what I'm saying? Like, instead of having um, Lothario. You know, you don't have Dawn. You have Dawn Jr. I don't know why I thought of that. But, yeah. Or you can have... I don't know, Katrina, Caliente, but then like her, I don't know, her, her kids or something, you know, and then it'll be kind of cool, because then the entire world is kind of original, but then not, it's not really, because, I don't know, it's kind of, like, you, you guys get what I'm saying, you guys get what I'm saying, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's why I decided that I would just, you know, show you guys, for one, because I think it adds to, like, the storyline, it also is part of the, my own world it's a part of cast i always i like those things i just really i really do like those things and every time i make a video there's a chance to talk to you guys and if i i think well these sims look cool you guys might like these sims and it's a good way to introduce these characters again to your to my let's play in case you're new they're all they're all in the get famous let's play actually i'm the first person i don't know if you're still seeing her or not but we're having a really relaxed setting, by the way. <laughs> Miko is our only Asian out of the friend group. Um, and I think I imagine her to be... I don't know if it was Japanese or Korean, but it's it's more to, towards that side of Asia than towards the... Like, Singapore, China. If that makes sense. Um... I she's the only one as well that already has kids she has no boyfriend she doesn't want a boyfriend anymore she just wants to stay singular 
for the rest of her life, which I know mad respect for that like mm, hey, if that was a real person like damn damn girl respect because i have a boyfriend have no kids but he's also my first boyfriend and at this point i'm like what if i didn't have him even though i have no kids my life would be so boring and i don't even see my boyfriend more than once a year for like a couple days but it would be so boring like you know it would be so f- boring but i guess she has kids and she's done with men so you know her boyfriend actually dated our two main characters and he also apparently dated our enemies and has kids with our enemies too so yeah if you ever get to play with this world you'll see that some of the sims are kind of related in a way which i think makes it kind of fun because you can have to look your own backstories and whatever you can just do whatever the fuck you want basically okay and then the second character i think is dina or yeah dina caliente now dina i i don't know about you guys but i find that dina in the sims um in in the original in the in the base in the world the way you just start the game dina is like one of the first sims that you met did you meet right because like there's dina katrina and then i think there's another sister nina i don't know it's like the original not the original but like it's, it came with the base game so it's like the original set of sims right and she mm, I don't, I feel like she's always been in her, is it her sister? I'm not exactly sure if it's her sister either, but I, she's always been in the sister's shadow, I feel like, and there's nothing special about her. I feel like Katrina has her big boobies and her red hair that really sets her apart. But when I look at Dina, I just feel like Dina is just Dina. She doesn't really, she's, to me, she's not really into makeup. She's really pretty, but she's not into makeup. She just has her blonde hairs and I think she just fits the standard, oh, it's a blonde, you know? Some people can be really nasty about that and say, oh, redheads have no souls, oh, it's a dumb blonde, you know, things like that. And I think that people really have this, some some underestimated, mm, this really judgmental, not even judgmental, they just have no opinion about her, they just don't really care about her. She's just, she's just the sister of Katrina, you know? She's just a blonde next to the redhead, and there's nothing particularly special about her, and I love her for that. I feel like she looks really basic, but I feel like she is basic. She's really, really basic. She's just, she's just Dina. And at first, I was unsure how she would fit well in my game, in my game because I was like, hmm, she, uh, she's kind of pushy at first. Like I put her in the group, I was like, okay, you know what? She could be a good friend, and and I really like them together. But then after one of the girls got a bit more fame, I think it was Savannah. Which, mind you, I think she was Savannah's friend before Cassie's friend. I'm not sure. I think most of them were Savannah's friends, actually. Besides Miko. I think Miko, Miko was Cassie's original friend. And then Cassie met Lilith and Dina through Savannah. Yeah, that's how it went. And I feel as if she was really pushy really pushy when she got famous saying like hey we're still friends right we're still friends right and i think i almost misunderstood that as oh my god she wants to be famous but i think now that she just wants to know and be acknowledged that she's still relevant because i don't feel like she feels really relevant in her life because everyone else is doing so good i'm not really sure what her sisters are up to but they're actually really doing really well katrina doesn't have any wishes for anything really i I mean dina all I think that she wants, she has an aspiration to become bum, be, bleh, become a bartender. I think I'll have her be a bartender. Lilith actually wants to be a bartender too. I gave Lilith a makeover, but I forgot to actually include that in the video. I did it off screen, but Lilith is actually a really good bartender. Dina is not as great, but she is also a bartender. I think that's probably how they knew each other, or now at least they do. They have something in common. And I feel like even there, she's kind of overshadowed by Lilith, but thanks to being in this tied friendship group you know the besties it's like girl power right i i th- almost feel as she's found some validation in her life and she has made she made her her i don't know she said her how do you put that how do you, how do you explain that she made herself uh, yeah how i said it she found validation through the girls and i think that's really 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 important also i really felt it was time that we gave dina and lilith a man and i've been thinking about it you know cassie likes man savannah likes both girls and boys um and 
Mika obviously was into man, but you know, now not anymore. She doesn't really care about man anymore. She doesn't care about any partner. Lilith and Dina I was unsure about, but when I put Dina and I picture Dina together with a girl, I'm just like, I don't know, I'm not seeing it, I'm not feeling it. So I gave her a man. And then for Lilith, I was thinking, wow, Lilith, you know. But then, well, I played with Lilith a little bit. And then her, she got a relationship with like one of the vendors. And I was like, wow, I really am into that. And I just don't see Lilith being with a girl either. I don't know. It's like totally possible, you know, that one of them is gay. I mean, like I said, Savannah is bi. So she really is into girls and boys. But I guess she prefers... She prefers a snake, you know, and the the love for snakes is a little higher than her love for flowers. So I guess that's why she decides to actually be with a man, but she is bi. I think she's like, she's into girls and boys, so I guess she technically is bi, but she's probably like 80% into men and like 20% into women. Which, we're explaining why she almost had a relationship with Cassie at one point. Which we tried in, like, the first season and it wasn't anything I was into. Not because of anything. I was just not into it because I just couldn't understand the love between them. Like that. I mean, they love each other, but they could never date each other. It's not gonna happen. But, long story short, I got them some man. Yeah, they have some man now. And I have to say that I think I really like Dina's man. I might steal him. You know, why not have two boyfriends? Nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Well, there's something slightly worrying about that or whatever. And then Lilith, man. I just can't make ugly guys. I would ever feel horrible about myself. And that completes everyone. I will have to expand the group of the boys um because they have like a, a, a exercising group and you know what the funny thing is is that actually all these sims funny enough have some sort of thing with exercise right the besties was a group to be best friends but they actually found people that do love exercise which i didn't plan for that i never planned to make dina like into exercise i never planned to make her boyfriend into exercise because i didn't make her boyfriend i just changed him um she got a relationship with a sim in the world, and when I added the, the guy, he already had the exercise, like the pumped up, what's it, being into sports kind of bullshit, whatever it is called. He already had that trade. I was like, oh. And then I looked at Lilith's fucking friend, he had the same thing. Everyone is into exercise. I love this. All these girls are are here, and they're, they're bonding through exercise and showing that, you know, there's nothing wrong with being healthy and being fit as folk you know and then all the guys actually are into the work okay salem is not into working out salem is salem works out because he notices that it makes him feel better but he doesn't actually love 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 it um paolo obviously loves it he wants to be a bodybuilder and then um i don't know about dina dina's boyfriend has some sort of sporty feeling he wants to do something with the jungle like he wants to be an archaeologist which i don't i thought it was quite particular um but if he wants to do that why not you might look like a fucking jock but it doesn't mean you can't go into the jungle and kill some snakes and find some artifacts right if he wants to do that with his life go ahead lilith's boyfriend nah, not sure anyway i think i've talked enough in this video i probably did I've started to do some skating. Maybe I'll insert like a clip here of me skating. Maybe not. But it's probably for the best. It's probably for the best if I don't do that. If you do want to see it, I could just like, post it for like three seconds where you can like see me fall flat on my face. No, it actually hasn't happened. I haven't fallen yet. Yeah, I say yet because it's probably going to happen. Uh, anyway, yeah, I already said this video is long enough, so I've shot, shot my yapper now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go out on this fine ass day ever since. Okay, I talk like this like I've been doing it for six years. I've been going out for the past two days, every day. So two days. Wow. And I already feel much better than I normally do. So my advice to you guys is even if you're fucking lazy, get your ass outside for 20 minutes a day. It makes you feel great. And you know, you don't get as fat as you normally would.
<laughs> anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.